Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Memorial Hall here in Kansas City, Kansas, as Strike Force and Showtime present the Strike Force Challengers main event of the evening. Uh, bad news is just something they gave me in my gym. Uh, people say, uh, who's up next to spar? And they're like, oh, bad news. So it just kind of stuck. I'm always an underdog. It's not a new thing for me to be the underdog. I kind of feed off of it, and I like it. It's, it's okay, no pressure on me. Kansas City's my hometown. Uh, I have a lot of fans here in Kansas City. You'll hear them in the crowd yelling, chanting my name. That's just something they like to do. They like to chant, Rudy, Rudy. Like the movie, you know, I'm, I'm pretty used to it. Tyrone, he's already in Strike Force. He's had a few Strike Force fights. This being my first Strike Force fight, I mean, I have to prove to the judges that, hey, uh, I belong here in Strike Force. My prediction, third round KO. Kickboxer who has ripped off six consecutive victories. Tonight he's going to try to avenge teammate Steve Schneider's loss to Woodley in Woodley's professional MMA debut back in February. What are the keys to victory for him? Keys to victory are definitely stay off the floor. And in order to do that, he's got to use a lot of side to side movement, but pepper Woodley the whole time. Just moving around is not going to do it because Woodley's shot is that fast. And if he gets taken to the floor, got to get back up. He's got to take this fight deep. Zach Light was very confident that he, if he took Woodley past the seven or eight minute mark that he would fade because that wrestler first would turn into an anaerobic thing and he'd get tired. I think that that's what Rudy Bears expects tonight as well, or hopes for. Fighting out of the Caveman Crew Mixed Martial Arts Academy, a self-bought again. I mentioned Steve Schneider. He went down to defeat against Tyron T. Wood Woodley earlier this year. So, in a way, Bears is looking to avenge his uh, friend's loss, but also wants to put himself on the map with a win over one of the hottest prospects in the sport. And speaking of one of the hottest prospects in the sport, Tyron T. Wood Woodley really does have it all. Uh, man, it meant a lot to me to be all American wrestler. The characteristics that I've taken from wrestling into MMA has been definitely a work ethic. I, mean, I, I don't train like, you know, um, the conventional mixed martial art fighter. I like to think of myself as the next generation or I like to think of myself as the future of MMA. I mean, I got family rooting for me. You know, my church family rooting for me. I got a son that's looking out for me. So when I'm doing things the way I, you know, uphold myself, the way I walk around the community, I'm representing just more of myself. You know, a good friend of mine told me that make the fight that you're fighting the most important thing in your life at that point. And right now, that's what it is. You know, this is the most important fight for me and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna fight it. Like, I don't even know this guy. Tyron Woodley, as much as we've talked about his wrestling, he really wants to establish the fact that he feels that his stand-up is better than his wrestling. This may be a risky adventure, but he wants to keep moving, use a straight right and counter, and stay ahead of the curve in the stand-up department. In his first Strike Force Challengers appearance, Woodley got a chance to display his ever-evolving prowess when he faced Zach Light, a man who looked to be every bit of his equal on the mat. But it was soon apparent that the takedown advantage belonged to Woodley as he took Light to the ground and went for a submission. The fist came next, and the unstoppable wrestling, that slam-bam pattern continued until Woodley mounted Light, who tried to escape, only to roll right into the fight-ending armbar. 
with his prodigal growth now televised and on public display, Woodley's ascent will surely make more than a few welterweights nervous. No doubt about it, he is having a breakout year in MMA, making his debut in February. He's reeled off four consecutive wins, all via submission. And this highly decorated wrestler has been spending time soaking up all the knowledge he can at the vaunted American Top Team Camp in Coconut Creek, Florida. And Pat, it's hard to believe he was a late cut during tryouts for the ninth season of the Ultimate Fighter, but hey, the UFC's loss is definitely Strike Force's gauge. Missed a diamond in the rough for sure. All right, Pat, let's uh, take our viewers to the tail of the tape for this, the main event. Rudy Bear is four years older, a couple inches taller, same weight about at the time of weigh-in, but Woodley walks around at easy 195 pounds. Reach goes to the advantage one inch for Bears. Bears is gonna wanna use that, try and keep Woodley on the outside, but Woodley's explosive, he gets on you quick. Here now with the main event particulars, Mike Vail. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our main event of the evening, brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink. Bigger, better, faster, stronger, party like a rock star. So now, before we get the action started, I have one more thing to say. Kansas City, Kansas, are you ready? Let's get the action started. This welterweight main event is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first in the blue corner, he stands five feet, 11 inches tall. Official weight, 170 pounds. This kickboxing freestyle fighter has a record of 10 wins, three losses, with four of his wins coming by way of knockout and four by submission. Please welcome the talented, well-rounded fighter from Raytown, Missouri, Rudy Bad News Bears. And now his opponent across the cage in the red corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 171 pounds. With a background in wrestling, this explosive athlete has an undefeated record of four wins and no losses, with all of his wins coming by way of submission. Please welcome the four-time All-American freestyle wrestler from Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of St. Louis, Missouri, Tyron T. Wood Whitley. Good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight clean, fight hard. Any questions, fighters? Lock them up. Let's rock and roll. Whose winning streak is going to come to an end tonight? Rudy Bears has won six straight. That man, Tyron Woodley, is 4-0 to begin his professional career. This is the main event Strike Force Challenger Series from Memorial Hall in Kansas right City, corner, Kansas. Who corner you ready? And Pat, let's see if the third time's the charm. What should we look for in this contest? Look for Woodley stepping hard with his left foot, throwing the straight right and circling out to his left. Bears is going to try and cut him off. Being a lefty, Bears might give Woodley some problems. Undefeated during his senior year of high school at 48 and 0. Two time All American at University of Missouri. But uh, Stephen, he tells us there's a lot of pop in his punches as well. I think the pop should be in that knee when Woodley dives down for a single or a double. It's a risky move, but if you're going to get taken down anyway, you might as well try and do some damage. And the knee strike to the body of the head of a diving in wrestler is sometimes a devastating blow. And there's the takedown from Woodley into cross side position, looking to mount.
complicated crowd here in Kansas City is not pulling this fight. They're chanting, Rudy, Rudy, what's up, Dan? Exactly. I think that this crowd is split between the two. Oh, they are. You're right about that. They're chanting Rudy, and I think maybe Woodley. We're getting confused there, huh? And see Woodley has the arm trapped with the shin every time Bears goes to put that right arm on the ground. There's the bomb already. Nice transition in the mount. Bears looking to explode his hips. But against again an NCAA wrestling stud. But give credit to Bears. Very active on the bottom. Trying to break free. Trying to escape out the back door. It's very much so going out the it back comes, door. But he comes to try to take his time there and just, you know, go ahead, let him get up. Don't make a mistake there. Knee from the plum and a couple of other knees. There's a right hand from Woodley. So we definitely are beginning to see more in the way of striking from T. Wood. Misses with that wild right. Needs to set that up a little bit more, I think. He's getting a little impatient. I think he wants to take Bears out as quickly as possible. Bears with 7-0 and as an amateur. He won regional ISKA kickboxing. Championships, but he finds himself back on the map the with the for the arm triangle now. We know that's to pop over to the other side. Well, he's taking his time, trying the head in there, pressing the arm up against the uh, side of the neck. Bears again, lifting that left knee, blocking the attempt here. But Stephen, if Woodley is able to get to the other side, a great defense here by Bears. He's all right. Best athlete in the sport. Wow. Really? Without a doubt. I think you can make a good case for that. I don't think we're being too preemptive. Well, I'll tell you, he definitely likes many great athletes in the sport, like Miguel Torres, George St. Pierre, and Nate Marquardt. But uh, quite a statement from Pat Militich. But I'll tell you something. Woodley, believe the hype, my friends. This kid is real. Well, really, Pat knows. But I'll tell you one thing. Rudy Bears made this a, a fight by that yeah, first escape. Stood back up, threw a low kick. That was a mistake. Got taken down, and the rest is history. And he likes that arm triangle choke. Submitted up. Uh, Woodley working, working hard, hitting a little, little grab, and then the trip just blocked the hip with his left leg and got to cross sides right away. Very explosive guy. There's the low kick. Nice reaction by Woodley, instantly snagging the legs and taking him down. It's a lot of power. Right away, we know that Woodley loves the arm triangle. He goes for it a lot. Yeah, it's did. a very, very good move to stay on top and submit people. Does a good job. Bears there got the, got the half guard. Woodley got a little, uh, I think, in a hurry there. Tried to step over, almost like mounting the horse. He wants to take his time a little bit more, but then he realizes he's got the left foot inside the thigh there. You can see it prying down on Bear's leg. Straightens his leg to create, uh, create less friction. Tighten up the arm triangle, and it's tight. And he submitted Sal Woods with the arm triangle in his Strike Force debut back in September. Strike Force Lawler versus Shields in St. Louis, but Pat. Beautifully done again. Very patient, knows exactly where he was going. That is a wrestler's submission right there, the arm triangle. You get to keep top position. Don't risk losing position, going for something. You're on top, and you know, you got a guy that strong squeezing on your neck, you're in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at two minutes and 52 seconds of round number one. Referee Al Wicker stops this bout. For your winner by tap out due to an arm triangle, Tyron T. Wood Whitley. Tyron seems to be a little bit of a split house tonight. Rudy. Uh, Rudy Bear is an amazing guy. Um, you know, we were supposed to fight a couple times before, I think. You know, we knew eventually it was going to happen. We were too close together and saying, wait, you know, shout out to his camp, his crew. You know, I know he's a good. Good father and got a wife and, you know, he's an amazing guy. You know, now I get a chance to train with him. He pulled off the great escape by going out the back door. And the... Yeah, I had a triangle set up. In this MMA game, you get slippery and wet, you go for that triangle choke and you don't get it. I ended up on my back. You know, I know you got a legitimate ground and power, and I didn't want to put myself in that situation, so. Okay, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but a lot of people feel that you're ready to become the next whatever 
But what are you thinking in terms of title aspirations here in Strike Force? Man, I, I would love, you know, to keep chopping that ladder down, keep making gains at it. You know, Strike Force doing a, a great thing with me. You know, um, they kept every promise they, you know, they told me they were going to do. And I'm, you know, I'm just keep trying to keep getting better. You know, it's down the road. It's close. The last known Strike Force welterweight champion is Jake Shields. Your opinion of him? Jack Shields is a good guy, great submissions, um, you know, really good from the mount position, you know. I think I match up well with a lot of these guys, you know, I think he's one of them. Tyron, great job tonight, congratulations. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, T. Wood, Tyron Woodley. Tyron T. Wood Woodley delivers another impressive performance in tonight's main event as he runs his professional record to 5-0. And, oh. and I'm joined right now by Pat Militich once again. And speaking of 5-0, and oh, here's a kid, all 